don't, don't play with her, don't be dishonest, baby. Still not understanding this logic, baby. Back in a better, I want you bad as ever. Don't let me just let up. I wanna give you better, baby. It's whatever. Somebody gotta step up, don't let somebody stop next go. Me and Renee were literally talking about this very shit. How well, um, kids who are Gen Z, all they know is, all you guys know is sticking your tongue out as a form of communication. Renee, turn the camera back around. Turn it on. That's all you guys know. That's all you guys know. That's what we do. Thank you so much. On to better things. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But okay. why do you guys do that? Because what are you supposed to do in the picture? Just smile. Where's the character? Children of nowadays, be careful. Oh, that tastes way nicer. Nice than Coke Zero that we have in London. What does your Coke taste like? Yeah. I even prefer that. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. If my eyes are red, I'm not high. I promise. She's high. I'm not high. When I'm still high. I had a bad reaction to getting my eyelashes done, but we're currently at a tapas restaurant. It's very loud. I don't know if you can hear me. Um, but this is our first meal here in Barcelona. How do you rate our food? 7 out of 10 I feel like it was a bit better than that I didn't have a tuna But that was 1 out of like 6 things Exactly, so 7 out of 10 No, but you didn't like it as in 0 You didn't not, it wasn't bad I stick by my decision But the tuna wasn't bad, you didn't hate it As in like I wasn't overly joyed about any of it Do you know what oh, I mean? Oh okay, okay fair Yeah, 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 yeah fair enough That's fine I think it was like an eight to be fair. I think it was for how much we paid. Bear in mind, we paid like oh, yeah, for 15, 15, 15 euros, euros each. Yeah. yeah. And a coat. And a coat. And a coat. Damn. Yeah, it's true. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very good for the price. Very good for the price. Um, and filling too. But anyway, we're going to go to somewhere. I'll put it on the screen.
the place I actually wanted to go to I can't find so vanilla Compromat and stracciatella no one asked <laughs> welcome back to my youtube channel <laughs> Brand new Chris Brown T Pain. You heard it here first. Happy Boy Radio. We love you. We are actually going to get some food today. We have a very busy day planned. That's loud. Today we are. It's loud everywhere. <laughs> um, today we have a very busy day planned. Um, so we're going to go and get some food. I feel like this is such a maternity dress. Sure. I just feel so oh, free. Look, look Under no, no, no. Not, it's not bad. Not oh. a bad thing. Um, yeah, so we have a very busy day plan that I've, as I've said five times and we are going to get some food first and I've heard some very good things about Spanish McDonald's and so we are going to find um, out what's there, like what's the ranch and what's the rate um, and there's only one, there's one only 12 minutes away from us so, ooh, it's warm. It is nice, though. Wow. Yeah, come on. Not you getting a tan. See, I carry my hustle for my shoulder. I'm a one man soldier. Have siblings, they said. It will be fun, they said. You look cute though, this lighting teach you. Thank you, darling. I'm just gonna get bombarded, I know, with a whole bunch of comments. Your sister is so pretty, I know. My firstborn. I know, a gorgeous, gorgeous girl. A gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Mary just found out that they have, um, oh, the square glasses are back, that they have breakfast until um, 12 and she said, yeah, I love Spain. Spain, you have a fan. <laughs> 68, oh my gosh, that's me. <laughs> You almost distracted me. Okay. This looks like normal Fanta. Tastes like normal Fanta. It do, it's meant to be Fanta Zero. Oh. And it doesn't taste like that. Taste it. Mm. Yeah. Oh, really sweet. I know, right? Oh. It's really and sweet. And I like sugar. So for me to say that. Oh, and I like sugar. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't come with a lid either. If this is Fanta Zero for real, for real, Spain is where it's at. I'm about to taste Mary's apple pie and she says The apples taste more real here. Interesting. They taste like real apples. Interesting. In comparison. Yeah, 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 in comparison to everywhere else yeah. that has fake apples. Oh, and you also didn't like your burger because no. you thought it tasted like real beef. No. <laughs> There's going to be someone watching this that gets what I okay, mean. Like, fair enough. It just tastes like a dead cow, which is what beef is. But in London, it tastes a bit more like this could be plastic. This could also be something else. You know what I mean? Like, I, it's not nostalgic enough for me. <laughs> Stop Does anybody else you do this? Start your own channel. <laughs> you, the way you want to be in this vlog, come on. Does anybody else do this with their ice cream and apple pie? Um, this 10 one likes. has caramel too, though. Caramel, yeah, it is. And you can choose what you had. You can have chocolate, I think strawberry or something else. White chocolate. Mm. 10 likes and I'll give a tutorial. The thing with McDonald's, I don't even think you should rank it really. It's just all right. Like for general food, it's a five out of ten. Yeah. But like for McDonald's, it's not bad. I think it tastes. I'd give it a <laughs> six point five out of ten. <laughs> People wanted to know. Sure. I <laughs> I think it definitely tastes better than the UK one. Nah. Yeah, but you like that artificial taste. I don't really like that. Yeah. McDonald's tastes sweet. It, to me, this tasted like real actual food, so I prefer that. Um, this Fanta was definitely not Fanta Zero. It tasted way sweeter than that. Um, anyway, on to the next place. We are going to La Sagrada Familia, which is, I believe, a church or something of the sort. So let's go. Oh, 
We made it to this la, la Sagrada Familia. So we looked at getting tickets to go inside, but unfortunately there's no availability for today. So I guess all the tickets are sold out. We saw tickets for tomorrow as well. You can get it for 26 euros, which is not bad um, because it looks really beauty and really beauty. It looks really beautiful inside, but um, yeah, we don't think we're actually going to make it back to this side, which I, I'm trying to do all the activities in like groups of location. So I don't think we're going to make it back to this side or this area. Um, for the rest of our trip but it's beautiful to see from the outside so um and right across from it is placa de gaudi which is like uh, i'm saying it's all wrong but um it's like a park so probably just gonna walk around here for a bit let our mcdonald's fully digest sunny and very hot Barcelona to go and find paella or paella and we are going to this place called restaurant Casa del Sen, I think um, which is we're not too far now um, but that art the triumph and the I think it's the Ciutadella, Ciutadella um, part so beautiful so nice very very peaceful very was saying it reminds her of Hyde Park um, but like sunny and nice <laughs> we get yeah so yeah um really really nice highly recommend and we were meant to go to the zoos turns out my phone i hadn't reset the time on my phone and spain is actually ahead so for the last 24 hours we have not known the accurate time by the time i had changed the time on my phone i realized that the zoo was just about to close unfortunately so this is an agricultural dig for barcelona's old city wow can you imagine it's just right beneath our feet Whoa, someone called oh. National Geographic. Wow. <laughs> that was passionate. Hashtag David Attenborough. Is David Attenborough not hey, hey, hey. First time having beer, it's actually like nice. It's really nice. I know, right? Mm. The rice is a bit harder though. Yeah. Don't know how I feel about that. But it's nice. That was very, very good. Mary, what was your rating of the paella? Eight out of ten, baby. Wow, that's how you know it was astonishing. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was actually really good. I think it was more like a seven out of ten for me. Fargy, it was more like a seven out of ten for me just because I found it a bit salty. But yeah, it was good. Now we're gonna get ice cream. We are gonna find our way home. Um, Aldi! <laughs> we are going to find our way home.
day three 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 of barcelona we are about to go to the picasso museum we were meant to go to the basilica santa maria del mar Wow, but it's Spanish, Spanish. <laughs> Thank you. But that is um, closing soon, so we're gonna go to the Picasso Museum instead, which I'm actually very excited about. It was actually a really good museum. A lot to see, but I didn't think would be in there for that long. Like for seven, you paid seven because you're under 25. Um, do you guys remember in the Greece vlog when I was boasting about being under 25? Well, seasons change. Um, I paid 12 euros and I thought it was going to be like a really quick, like just go around quickly, but there was a lot to see. That was but a lot of work. They didn't have, you know, like the bait pictures of Picasso. Yeah. Like the ones that are everywhere, they didn't have those. So it's just like more of his, what would you say? Like more. I guess it's more of his unknown and early works. Yeah. Um, and I think we're going this way. And um, he donated it to Barcelona. So that's why they put this exhibition. But I would actually highly recommend you do it. We were in there for just under two hours. So very well worth it. So we found this oyster stand and we're actually going to get one each to try. I don't think I've ever had oysters either. Really? I might have but I can't remember so. I've never had oysters guys, I'm just going to show you because I'm going to die. Sorry. <laughs> I don't really know what to expect but we put a lot of hot sauce on this because that's all I can smell. Bad. It's not. It's not. It's just very um, salty. Okay. It's an interesting texture as well. <laughs> How does that make you feel? That's not nice, Courtney. Oh, the Tabasco is nice. The Tabasco <laughs> is nice. <laughs> that was an experience. That was pretty cute so we walked around a bit we saw a few things it's like a fresh food market um a lot of seafood as you saw we tried oysters and chow mary didn't like it i could get behind you know it what? it wasn't disgusting it wasn't the worst thing ever but like why fair you know enough I mean? yeah i think it's a reasonable question yeah. um yeah and i got some watermelon um, and now we are going to the aquarium and I've never been to an aquarium before it's why I really want to go I haven't been either
I found Nemo. No, you didn't. I did. Did you find him? That's not Nemo. How do you know? What is your name? Nemo. There you go. Hello beautiful people, um, I wanted to do a check-in because I feel like I haven't really spoken a lot on this vlog um, but basically this has been what on the more chill side of like holidays for me because before I came <laughs> the reason why there was no Barcelona prep vlog was because the week leading up to this holiday was stressful like so stressful um, so essentially on um, the Saturday before last, my phone was stolen, nearly two weeks ago now, my phone was stolen and if you didn't know I vlog the holiday vlogs, well every vlog on my phone and um, I film my sit down videos on my main camera but I film all the vlogs on my phone because it's easier, it's more convenient and like it leads to me vlogging more because I always have my phone on me right and the quality is sick and you guys always ask what I vlog on so I guess we all like it but somebody stole it. Yeah. <laughs> The devil is a bastard and so um i spent the whole week luckily my phone was insured and so i spent the whole week kind of just trying to get a new phone um it was meant to be delivered by ups they said i wasn't home when they tried to deliver it even though i was somebody's telling fibs um and so i had to like go to like the actual delivery depot to go and pick it up it was in like a big retail park my old phone which i was using at the time um didn't have internet connection because the sim that i got as a replacement for my old sim um hadn't been activated yet so it was just a whole bunch of like wahala and i get flustered very easily so i was just hella flustered trying to find a ups depot with no navigation ended up getting it and it made me late for my um lash appointment so i ended up getting to my lash appointment just really late but super apologetic um and then turned out the lash tech uh, actually is one of my subscribers she's been watching my videos for a really long time and she listens to the two my sisters podcast and yeah we just clicked instantly her name is emmanuel she's absolutely beautiful lovely amazing customer service um really lovely has created such a lovely atmosphere in her um her little studio space and it reminded me of like my early days of cdb london and we were just talking and you know she was asking me for business advice and just chatting away about life and we we're finding common ground and we were chatting away so much that my eyelash appointment ended up taking about three or four hours yeah close to four hours um of me just being there but I guess all the like talking um had me like slightly opening my eyes whilst I'm doing my false lashes so if you've never had false lashes done you're meant to keep your eyes like completely closed and as still as possible so that your lashes can be applied but because I was chatting away you guys know I can talk for England um I was like slightly opening my eyes and then the appointment was longer than it should have been um, and then I ended up basically getting a chemical burn on my eyes so I didn't even take a picture but that's why my eyes were so red at the beginning of this vlog my eyes were like basically chemically burnt um, they were super dry really irritated um, as soon as I would like you know when you yawn or something and your eyes become watery and you like cry um a little bit into your eyes it would just sting like it just felt like my eyes were under attack um i i initially thought it might have been an allergic reaction to the glue but upon further research and kind of speaking to her about how i was feeling she was just like yeah it's probably a chemical burn um so i got my eyelashes done on saturday and i ended up basically taking them off on Sunday um I also went to my friend Agnes's bridal shower bridal shower on Saturday I couldn't vlog any of it because I didn't have my phone um which is why there's no footage Friday um the Friday before all of this happened me and Renee went out to celebrate two million downloads um we went out to an escape room and we actually escaped with like 35 seconds to spare but that doesn't matter because we escaped um it was so so fun so so fun and um, we also went to stalk in mayfair which is like the afro fusion restaurant really really nice i had the groundnut soup with um fufu i need to go again just so i can show you guys um and then we also went to sushi samba which is the second time we're actually going together and that was really nice as well i did get something i didn't like and i did also find a hack i need to do a whole like solo day out in london again let me know if you want to see that because i did that for my birthday if you haven't quite caught that vlog go and watch it it was super fun i did a day out in leicester square in chinatown and um 
I need to do another one because Stork was really good, Sushi Samba was really good, um, the escape room was really good, so maybe I'll have to bring Renee on so we can do an activity um, day for you guys and just show you how to have fun in London and celebrate yourselves. But yeah, so I am definitely hanging off of this bed and holding on for dear life. But anyways, um, and then I... Oh, I'm not even explaining this story well. You see that Friday that me and Renee went out? I thought I was like, well, I was running super behind that day and I ended up rushing my time at the gym. And so I didn't warm up and I injured my back. And my back has been in bits since. It's been about five days and my back really hurts. Like bending down hurts, doing certain activity hurts, sleeping in certain position hurts. Um, and I really need to go and see a chiropractor about that because I don't want any lasting damage. Because you know, you go lifts in the gym and I'm trying to lift heavy as well um but yeah it was probably just down to poor form not warming up and don't be like me ensure that you warm up before you actually start your workout um to avoid injury so i'm gonna go when i get back to london i'm gonna actually book in some time to go and have a look at what that might be um and hopefully it's nothing like with a long lasting effect but it has meant that even though i booked this hotel because it has like a gym it's um one of the hyatt hotels which i stayed at when i was in cairo but because i i booked this one because it has a really good gym um but since my back is hurting i can't really go i might go and do some cardio tomorrow but i know we're gonna also go to the pool tomorrow which is super exciting so i might use that as my cardio instead but then i'm also here thinking about my hair and i didn't bring any hair products like to moisturize or like wash my hair so i don't know if i can get my hair wet which means i don't know if i can really swim Ciao, we will see but i really want to enjoy myself nonetheless but it's been nice the weather has been nice the food has been really nice um and there's been a lot to see i don't know if it's because of where we're located or if barcelona is just quite small but it has felt like everywhere has been in good reach to us which is good and we've been able to use the public transport which is cool and you get to see more of the city that way but yeah now we are going to watch money heist on netflix um because we both need to catch up on it well, we're just going to restart it from the beginning because I can't remember what happens. And in the spirit of being in Spain, why not watch Money Heist? So yeah, I'm probably going to sign off the vlog um, for today here. And then tomorrow is our last full day. And Friday, we don't fly out to the evening anyway. So we also get a few hours to do some really fun stuff. So yeah, talk to you later. sushi restaurant called Masque Sushi and it's an unlimited buffet for 11.45 I think yeah 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 it's really affordable and um, so we'll see how it goes so we just left the sushi spot and it was actually really really nice we ordered entirely too much I think it's amazing for the price um, so don't go expecting like Michelin star star that business idea of if you don't finish it you have to pay extra money really good from a business point of view that's really good from a consumer point of view stress <laughs> oh let me it's let me fun. ask the oh. vlog their opinion on something guys when you go on holiday are you the kind of person who wants to see everything go everywhere touristy stuff or are you a sit by the pool drink a glass of you know something sparkling and you know have to put your feet up kind of person that's a very good question put a comment down below because We've come to the conclusion that we're definitely crossing the road at the wrong time. But we've also come to the conclusion that um, we are two very different kind of travellers. I want to go out and do stuff. Mary is a, I want to lounge, I want to relax. 
So, yeah, what sort of traveller are you? This place is absolutely stunning. It was well worth the hike up. Um, it's actually an art museum, I think. Museo Nacional de Arte Catalunya. I think it's an art museum. Um, collaborators with Tate, the Tate Museum. So yes, it is. Um, and it's lovely views out here. Like you can see the magic fountain, which is down there. We're actually gonna come back to that tonight because they're supposed to have like a, a light show um, or like a fountain show. So we're gonna do that this evening, but it's very, very lovely out here. Like absolutely beautiful, very relaxing. Um, so yeah, definitely come up if you can. I am hot though, I won't even lie to you. I'm hot. Guys, one of the ladies at the reception desk gave us free entry. Um, it's usually 12 euros per person and, and yeah she was super nice she said that there is like a viewpoint at i guess it's at the top where you can see like a view of the park and sorry if i'm sweaty it's really hot outside but there's ac in here um but it's closed the viewpoint is closed so that would have been nice as well but i mean we're getting it for free there's no need to complain It is so nice and it's filled with such nice stuff and we're picking up some goodies um, for my parents, for me <laughs> and for Mary.